Welcome to another episode of 9 to 5 Mac Weekly, where why is she on the roof? I'm your host, Miles Somerville, and even though we're still knee deep in iPhone 12 and iPad Air video production, Apple had to hit us with the mother of all Monday announcements. November 10th, 10 a.m., we've got one more thing. So today we're gonna talk about everything that we can expect to see from this Apple November 10th event. Let's dive in. We know that when Apple uses the tagline, one more thing, that usually means that something really revolutionary is coming. One more thing usually marks uh, a huge leap within a specific Apple product line or the creation of a new Apple product line altogether. Uh, and we know that based on what we've seen all year with leaks and rumors, that we should be getting the first Apple Silicon Max before the end of the year. Uh, and it hasn't also been leaked. It's been confirmed by Apple themselves via Tim Cook, who said in WWDC that we'd be seeing the first Apple Silicon Max this year. So what exactly should we expect as far as Mac hardware? Right after this event was announced and invites were sent out, famous leaker Love to Dream on Twitter tweeted out 13 inch and then later tweeted out 13 inch times two, which leads me to believe that we should expect not only a 13 inch MacBook Pro update, but a 13 inch MacBook Air as well. Uh, and this is not something that we really expected as far as the Air based on what we've been hearing this year, but I think it makes perfect sense that Apple's going to launch Apple Silicon on their least powerful Macs as the Air and the Pro are generally speaking the least powerful Macs across the lineup. And I think it makes perfect sense that Apple's gonna work their way up, start with the lower end models, and then work their way up to the iMacs, the iMac Pros, and so on. But both the Pro and the Air were already updated this year, so why would they update it again uh, for Apple Silicon? Well, my guess is that the hardware itself isn't gonna really look or feel any different. My guess is that they're just gonna refit the internals uh, to have Apple Silicon hardware inside. Based on what we've heard, the rumored magical 14-inch redesigned MacBook Pro isn't going to come until sometime next year. My guess would probably be around the spring, just like we got for the 13 inch Pro this year. As far as this 24 inch redesigned iMac, we've been hearing rumors of that all year, although they've kind of died down in recent months. But uh, Ming Chin Kuo did say that we should expect to see this 24 inch redesigned iMac in Q4 2020 or by Q4 2020, which we're now in. So I think it makes perfect sense for Apple to launch a desktop model alongside uh, a mobile option as far as their Apple Silicon models. Now, while I do think this iMac is going to be much more powerful than the current 21.5 inch iMac just based on that Apple Silicon alone. I don't think this is necessarily gonna be the powerhouse pro machine intended for pro users and heavy work. And as with every Apple event, Apple gave us an AR Easter egg, uh, giving us a slight teaser of what we should expect at this event next week. And when looking at the Easter egg, I think it's crystal clear uh, that we should expect a laptop of some kind. Just looking at the Apple logo closing up and down, kind of like a laptop. Uh, and as the Apple logo opens up, you see a bunch of lights uh, emitting from under it. I think it's very clear here that they're teasing a new MacBook or notebook of some kind. And I bet you that those colors are gonna correlate somehow with the new wallpapers for this new Apple Silicon Mac. So naturally in the middle of me recording this episode, some more specific information has leaked out regarding what we can expect to see next week at the Apple event. So according to a report from Bloomberg, apparently we're getting three new Apple MacBooks all running on the updated Silicon platform. That means a 13 inch MacBook Air, 13 inch MacBook Pro and 16 inch MacBook Pro all running on Apple Silicon, apparently coming as soon as next week. Just like I would have imagined, it also seems as though there's gonna be no redesign with all three of these MacBook updates, meaning the 13 inch MacBook Air and Pros and the 16 inch MacBook Pro will pretty much look identical to what we've got currently. They'll just be running Apple Silicon CPUs inside. The Bloomberg article also mentions the redesigned 24 inch iMac saying that they're hard at work on that redesigned iMac, but it shouldn't be coming next week. They're also saying that they're working on a new silicon based Mac Pro that's apparently half the size of the current Mac Pro model. The Mac Pro is a modular computer, and so switching the platform over to ARM would completely change the way you upgrade the modules and stuff like that. But an ARM-based Mac Pro half the size of the current Mac Pro, but with the same design, that would be pretty interesting. And if that's true, it's gonna be a really exciting machine. But man, that 16 inch MacBook Pro rumor really threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that one. Uh, but I think this just goes to show you that Apple is, is really ready to put out these new processors. And I think we should be really excited about the potential performance and optimization improvements that we're gonna be getting with Apple Silicon because I think there's going to be a lot of them. There's also the Apple AirTags and Apple AirPods Studio that we've been talking about all year now. Those still have yet to be announced. And from what we know, the AirTags are essentially done 
than just waiting for Apple to drop them. Uh, based on what we know, they entered mass production already, so they in theory should be ready to go, and I think Apple's just waiting for the right time. As to whether this November 10th event is the right time, I'm not sure, I'm not Apple, but I think it would kind of make sense for them to do it. Just based on the fact that the past two events have led with accessories first, uh, and then the real series hardware later, I think the AirTags could kind of follow that tradition. The AirPods Studio, however, at least according to leakers, has been facing some production issues, so we're not really sure as to whether we'll see these this year or not. It's possible that we could see it at the very tail end of the year, uh, and just not at this event. Or it's possible that maybe they're not quite ready yet, uh, but they're ready to announce it and have them ready sometime next month. That could be a possibility as well, but we'll just have to see. But I'm, I'm really getting anxious for these AirPods Studio. I feel like I've been waiting too long for them. I want me some over-ear AirPods. SRB SRB says, remember, we can expect those 13-inch laptops for a November release for the consumers with a 24-inch redesigned iMac for December. I don't know about that one. I don't think Apple's gonna save a silicon-based iMac for a separate launch in December, unless they announce everything together and then release the iMac uh, sometime next month. That's a possibility, but I definitely think they're gonna announce all the 2020 Silicon Macs together at one event, all in unison. Kai Belth says, I really, really hope this 13-inch has a redesign to the 14-inch similar to the 16, and this 2021 nonsense isn't accurate. My poor machine is barely alive anymore, and I've been holding off for 2.5 years already. Yeah, sad to say I don't think we're getting that redesigned MacBook this year. I think it's gonna be a 13-inch. I can't tell you for sure, I'm not Apple, obviously, or an Apple leaker, but I have strong feelings that the MacBook is not gonna get redesigned this year. You might just have to hold out a little bit longer. And I think that's mostly due to the fact that they already did a pretty Pretty substantial update to the 13-inch MacBook Pro this year. Yes, it wasn't a crazy redesign, but they gave us a new keyboard, some internal fixes, 10th generation Intel processors. It was a solid update, and I think for all the people who bought that, introducing a completely new redesigned uh, Apple Silicon-based MacBook Pro is gonna kind of step on the shoes of the people who bought the MacBook Pros earlier this year. I don't think this is gonna look any different, but I think it'll run completely different on that Apple Silicon. Nickname says, I'm predicting the 13-inch MacBook Pro Apple Arm to outperform the eight core i9 16 inch MacBook Pro running native applications. Can't wait to see testing. Yeah, I can't wait to do testing either. I'm definitely gonna pick up uh, one of these MacBooks, whatever is announced next week, because I am really excited uh, for what the performance numbers are gonna be like as far as video editing, photo editing, really workhorse related stuff. And while I said these MacBooks are not gonna be pro machines, I think they're definitely gonna be capable for video editing far more than anyone would have guessed for the price. So yes, I cannot wait to see testing either. I think it will be a 14 inch MacBook Pro with smaller bezels and an all new design. Why mix your newest processor with an older design? Same with the iMac. They saved the new design for their processor, which is why the 27 inch iMac used the same old design with the upgraded internals. I think that's a good point, and I think it is kind of strange to mix a completely new platform uh, with a design we're already familiar with and used to. But firstly, there's nothing really wrong with the 13-inch MacBook's design other than, let's say, the bezels. You could slim those down a bit, but otherwise, I'd say it's a perfectly fine computer as far as the design. It's not really aged out the same way the 27 iMac has. But when you say their newest processor, right, that's Apple's newest processor, not Intel's newest processor. So I think to assume that this Apple Silicon-based CPU is going to immediately outshine the Intel-based CPU in every regard, I think uh, you might be getting a bit ahead of yourself. I think there are definitely ways in which this Apple-based silicon processor is gonna be much better than the Intel-based 13-inch MacBooks. But I don't think it's necessarily going to kill the Intel-based MacBooks out of the gate. I don't think that's gonna be the case, honestly. Robert Wilson says, why wouldn't it be a Mac Mini first? They already had it made for dev testing. Uh, and I think that makes perfect sense. A Mac Mini uh, featuring Apple Silicon, especially a more entry-level friendly model, would make perfect sense. But the Mac Mini is special, so we're just gonna assume that Apple's saving the Mac Mini for a much more significant update down the line. Let's say a year or two, they come back with the Mac Mini with really fast Apple Silicon-based processors, way better graphics cards, a bunch of USB 4 ports. I think that would be really killer, but I think the new Mac Mini is probably a year or two down the line. That's that's just my guess. Oligarchy Ambulance says, I hope this new era of Macs brings something comparable to the 15-inch Surface laptop, an Ultrabook style, thin light laptop that's got a big screen. I want more space than the 13-inch, but I don't want a big, heavy, expensive, and overly powerful 16-inch Pro. Give us a 14-inch and 16-inch Air, and then a 14-inch and 16-inch Pro. 
you know, you never know. This could be exactly what Apple's working towards. Do I think that's what they're working towards? No, but it's definitely possible. And I've heard this for a quite a long time about people who want that bigger display but aren't trying to pay for, you know, the i9 processor and the eight terabytes of storage. There are plenty of people who want a bigger display but don't need the extra power. And I think it might be time for Apple to finally cater to that market. It may be niche in comparison to a lot of people, but I think there are plenty of people who would enjoy that bigger screen without having to shell out, let's say, $25, $2,600 for a new laptop, especially people who have a hard time seeing stuff, especially smaller text. A much larger screen uh, with enlarged content would be a lot better for a lot of people. But unfortunately, you have to pay like $2,300 for a 16-inch MacBook Pro, which is not fun. But I think this would be a great idea, and I think with Apple Silicon, this will allow Apple to expand their product lineup a lot more. But that pretty much sums up what we should expect from next week. So 13-inch MacBook Air, 13-inch MacBook Pro, and 16-inch MacBook Pro all running on Apple Silicon. We could get the Apple AirTags, we could get the AirPod Studio, but we're just gonna put a big question mark around those. And I'd say for now, probably no iMac and definitely not an ARM-based Mac Pro. But yeah, let us know your thoughts on this announcement in the description down below. Are you hyped for next week? What are you looking forward to most specifically? Let us know, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.